Hi guys, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist and a diabetes education specialist. Now, today we are talking about a common question asked by many viewers, and that is the C-peptide level. All right guys, so you may have type one diabetes, type two diabetes, or type one and a half diabetes. So whatever the case it may be, stay tuned. Let's get started. All right, guys, so C-peptide test is you guys are reading on the internet and you kind of try to find out, you know, what is a test that tells you if you're still making insulin, right? So C-peptide test is used for that. And a lot of my primary care doctors or nurse practitioners also ask me, hey, doc, do you use C-peptide test? Well, I do but it is very tricky to interpret and today i'm going to give you the secret about how i interpret c-peptide test that most doctors and even nurse practitioners do not know and here is how now c-peptide is a peptide that's basically a protein that is produced by your pancreas in the process of making insulin okay so what it means is that basically if you have C-peptide in your blood, that is coming from the insulin that you have made, not given from outside. The insulin given from outside will not show C-peptide in your blood. Now, the problem with C-peptide is it is going to change pretty much every minute, every hour. So you can check a C-peptide right now on an empty stomach fasting and then you check it after a meal, okay? It's gonna be totally different. What's gonna happen? Your C-peptide will go up. Why does your C-peptide go up? Because your blood sugar goes up. So it is directly related to your blood sugar. Okay, so how do I interpret a C-peptide test then? Because if, if, if you check a C-peptide for the same person, one time it comes back 1.2, the next time it comes back 2.2, the next time it comes back 0 0.6, hmm. Now, the reference ranges are typically, you know, starts from 0 0.8 and then goes up. So the lowest is 0 0.8 or below is typically we call it low. But here's the trick. If you are having a low blood sugar, let's say your blood sugar is down to 65, your C-peptide will be low, right? So, duh, you know, it should be low. That's, physio that's, that's physiology. Your body wouldn't make insulin for a low blood sugar. Otherwise, you will kill yourself. So... The problem is people only test C-peptide without checking the glucose with it. Now, you have to check the glucose with it because it's directly related to your glucose. Now, for example, if your blood sugar is 200 and your C-peptide is 0 0.8, that's a problem because that means that your body doesn't care how high your blood sugar is. You're not making insulin, period, period. You're not making insulin. At that point, you are looking for medications that can really replace your insulin. So that's, that would be insulin itself. Or there are some other insulins that will reduce your insulin need. Uh, but most of the time, you know, let's say if you're type 1 diabetic, your C-peptide will be stuck at 0 0.2, 0 0.3, no matter what your blood sugar is. But for a lot of people like my audience, that are typically 35 and above. Unfortunately, young people don't watch me for some reason. Maybe <laughs> they're too busy. Or actually, just because they're not diabetic yet. You know, or they're, they're type 1 diabetic, but they don't really care. You know, when they're young, they don't, they're like, whatever. But basically, guys, you know, when you are diabetic you wonder what type of diabetes you have a lot of people come to me and they say oh well they call me type one they call me type two i'm like based on what you know based on your looks or what so sometimes you can tell you know based on the looks you know let's say somebody comes and they are gaining weight so they're telling me do i make insulin i'm like oh yeah you, you make plenty of insulin you know that's called insulin resistance most type two diabetics may way more insulin they need right and but they're still not enough because you know they're either overweight or they're insulin resistant as a result the insulin is not really helping them so sometimes they say hey would you like to check my c-peptide i'll be like no i'm not gonna check your c-peptide i know you have a lot of insulin because you cannot gain weight without insulin and if you come to me for example and you say hey doc i've been losing like weight like crazy i'm going to bathroom like crazy you know i'm urinating every every hour every two hours and i'm losing weight do i need to check your c-peptide not really, you don't make any insulin. Now, 
doesn't mean that you will not make any insulin. That's another trick. You know, sometimes you are, your blood sugars are so high, your pancreas basically fails temporarily. And when somebody's blood sugar is 500, I don't check their C-peptide. Why? Because pancreas is like, what is going on? I'm out of commission. I'm done. I'm out. But those people with a 500 blood sugar, I don't check their C-peptide. I know that they're in trouble. I know that they need something right now to bring the blood sugars down. Once the blood sugar is down, like more like a reasonable level, like, uh, you know, 150, 250 range, then I can check to see if their pancreas is kind of starting to contribute. But in a situation like super crisis like a super high blood sugar or super low blood sugar we do not check their c-peptide uh, but if you come to me and you, you're like a1c is like eight and a half nine percent you're like a 45 year old and you tried a few oral medications and your blood sugars are still high you're trying to diet but you, you're, you cannot control your blood sugar then i'm like hmm let me find out if this guy is making insulin or not because they're not gaining weight they're not losing weight they're kind of you know all holding but their blood sugars are high then checking the c-peptide gives me an idea of how much insulin they're making. And of course, always with the glucose. I check the glucose, let's say their blood sugar is 150 and their C-peptide is 0 0.8. Yeah, I would expect the C-peptide to be higher because your body is supposed to make insulin when your blood sugar is 150, right? If your C-peptide is not even budging, then you have a problem. If I check your blood sugar and your blood sugar in the morning is 150 and your C-peptide is three, you're making plenty of insulin, right? So that means that you're making way too much insulin actually, but it's not enough. So then we have to work on your insulin resistance. Guys, I hope that helps. Again, uh, insulin resistance is a problem and we have a supplement. It's called uh, Dr. Ergen's Sugar MD Advanced Glucose Support. It is available on our website at sugarmds.com and we are working with Amazon. Amazon is not too easy. I thought they were easy, but they're not that easy to deal with. It takes some time to get to Amazon, but we are getting there. You can check the Amazon if you cannot find there. Just go to my website and sugarmds.com and try it out. Again, you know, that's a bunch of Indian and Chinese herbs that has worked for me for my patients and we made a supplement and it's out there for you. Please share this video. Please give a like, comment, ask questions, and we'll see you in the next video, guys.